flickering. That's what we're going to be doing today in Tank Attack. Uh, we are going to be looking at uh, how to make it look like you've hit somebody in, in Tank Attack. Um, because it's not fair when uh, if you have one player hitting another player, then the other player is basically a sitting duck and they can hit you again. So let's make it a little bit more sportsmanlike. So we give the other player a little bit time to run away. So we give them a bit of an invincibility and we show that invincibility to the, to the user just by flicking the, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the meshes off and on. So uh, yeah, that's what we're doing in this video. Uh, and of course, um, all of that uh, starts. So oh, hang on a second. Uh, the start state for this uh, is links below in the description. Um, as is the, the sort of end of this video, so I'm going to package up those things there. Links are, are below as well as sort of other sort of information that you might need there. Um, so yeah, uh, let's get cracking after the fade. So when you die, or when a, well, when a player gets hit, uh, it would be super nice to be invincible for a bit and also do that flashy thing. Um, if you look at we have our object here, which is our barrel and our end of barrel. And we have the cube itself. So we have this mesh renderer. Um, so what I propose is that we have, we know what these mesh renderers are. So what if we had a list of mesh renderers that when, when you get hit, um, it flashes. So it does that kind of invincibility thing. And when you get hit with a, a projectile, um, when you're invincible, you do no damage. You get no damage. So I think that's what we're going to do just now, is we're going to add some more information to our classes here. So if I go to Visual Studio, and uh, I'm looking for my move tank script here. So I'm going to close everything here. So this is our, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Uh, this is our uh, move tank script here. So I'm going to add, here's our movement axis. So I'm going to add a header. So these are visual components that make up the tank. Um, and I'm going to have to add this as a separate one because I don't think I, I don't have a <clears throat> I haven't set these up as um, uh, prefabs just now, so I'm going to have to sort of wing this. But basically, I want to I want to create a list of meshes that we can turn on and turn off. Um, as we need to be. So we have our left hand player and we have our, uh, where are we? we have our meshes down here. So first thing I want to do is there's a mesh attached to this object. So I'm going to drag left hand player and I'm going to drag that into meshes. You see we now have that there. Now we do the same thing for barrel. So now we have our left hand player, which is the sort of main part of the tank. And then we have the barrel, which is obviously the, the barrel part of it. And I'm going to do the exact same thing again for the right hand player. So right hand player, I'm going to drag into the meshes there. And I'm going to take the barrel and I'm going to drag that into meshes there. Okay. And I'm going to create a private member field that is called Uh, invincible. So when you're invincible, um, you can't be hit. And I'm also going to create a um, so invincibility time is going to be one second um, flicker time. Equals zero point 
So a tenth of a second. So it's going to do it ten times. It's going to flicker ten times. That's good enough. And do we know that this has been hit? Yes, we do. So if our so this is our hit part down here. So we destroy the the colitis and those. We destroy the 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 um, bullet. Sorry. Hopefully this isn't getting picked up. There's a really annoying high pitched squeaking noise in the background here. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, okay, so um, if we if the bullet gets hit, we take one away from the lives and we say that we've got you know, no, no lives left, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to get rid of that line because we're going to have something else in here. And so we're going to say if lives is greater than zero, start coroutine flash. Okay, we don't have a flash coroutine just now, but we're going to add that in just a second. So here's our coroutine flash. So down here we have we have our I enumerator flash. And again, we just need to right click on here, quick actions, and we are adding our system collections. So that gives us our flash. Um, so our current time is going to be in this variable here. So uh, if we go back up to the top here, uh, invincibility time is set to one second. That should be good to go. Uh, and our flicker time is 0 0.1. Um, actually, do we need that? I don't think we need that, actually. Um, times equals invincibility time divided by flicker time. So it's going to be flicking every single time we got that. Uh, root. Let's just leave it as this. So while time is less than invincibility time, um, bool, um, so we need to set it to be on or off. So show meshes. False. So we're going to set the meshes to be false. So for each mesh renderer and meshes. Um, so again, if I drag this up here, so we have our invincibility time, our flicker time, um, whether invincibility is on or not. Um, I'm going to leave that for just now, but we have our meshes here. So this is the visual components that make up the tank. So for each mesh in there, we're going to set the enabled to be whatever our show meshes is going to be. Show meshes equals, sorry, mr dot set enabled equals show meshes. You'll return And we're looking for flicker time. Flicker time. And we are going to do show meshes equals not show meshes. So in other words, we're going to flick it back over again. And then time equals time plus time dot delta time. Well, actually, time would be time plus flicker time, isn't it? 
um, because we're adding to that there. Okay. And then <clears throat> the very end, we want to make sure that those things are enabled. So we're going to copy that for each statement. And make sure it's enabled. And now, remember our invincibility boolean flag up the top there? We're going to say invincible equals true because they're currently invincible. And invincible equals false. So this is gonna, the idea is that this is gonna flick like in Super Mario when he gets the invincibility star. Uh, instead of like flicking that kind of yellow ready color, this is gonna like flick on and off to sort of signify that our uh, tank, or the enemy tank is currently invincible, which means that any bullets that would normally attack it just pass right through it. Um, so our flash, is we have our setup here and then we have our while loop which does all the sort of main loop that goes through and sets the the uh, the value for the meshes the the hidden component for the meshes and then we wait for the flicker time so it does the flick on flick off uh, we invert that and then we increment the, the the time so that we keep inside this loop and then at the very end there, we reset everything so that it's back to where we should be at the end there. So the only thing we need to do now is our invincible needs to be set up here. So uh, we're going to have to do, if not, invincible. So if it's not invincible, in other words, it's invincible. <laughs> uh, if it's... Uh, if the tank can be hit, then we're going to decrement the lives as normal. Um, if the current number of lives is, is greater than zero, then we're going to do our flash coroutine. Um, but we always have to destroy our uh, game object, uh, even if lives is, is equal to zero. So now, uh, when I fire upon this tank here, uh, we should see that um, our tank gets all flickery. Okay, so firing on the tank. There we go. It doesn't look that great. Um, oh, it was hit there. Okay, so let's make them. Let's make it two seconds. So all we need to do is, is the, the beauty of having things like the static read only is that we can change this in one location. It also means that when we look down here, we look at our code, um, th this is just an initializer, but there's no magic numbers in here. We don't need to figure out what invincibility time is. We just need to look at the logic and say, well, as long as time is less than whatever this value is here, we're good to go. And if we need to know what this value is, we can actually just press F12 and we loop straight back up to there. So handy in Visual Studio for doing these things. So let's make this let's make this three seconds. Uh, it gives them a little bit more time to, to run because the idea is that you want them to run away. And let's sort of um, half the the flicker time so it gives that kind of a uh, much nicer sort of uh, flicker look. So um, let's do it that way. So. When we play now, and I hit this, yeah, that feels a little bit better. And and likewise, I mean, you could you could do this to um, in in your own you know version of this game. Uh, in your own version of this game, um, what you can do is you can change the. The, the length of time in here. It doesn't need to be static. You could read this in from a, from a player preferences, for example. Um, and then, uh, you know, for game settings or whatever, uh, and, you know, adjust the sort of the difficulty of the, the, uh, the game just by changing the invincibility time from three seconds down to half a second or a second, or increase it to five seconds if you want to make the game a little bit easier uh, on the, the opponents. Opponents? The parents, you know what that? Yeah, that's great. Whatever.
Well, that's it for another video. Thanks very much for watching. I, I know uh, I, um, I say this every time, but I really do appreciate uh, your, your eyes uh, watching this video. Um, yeah, if you want to shoot me a tweet, uh, my Twitter is down there. Uh, if you want to give me a thumbs up, that'd be great. If you want to give me a thumbs down, that's even better. I, at least I know where I stand. Uh, if you want to subscribe and get timely reminders, then there's somewhere around in this box. I think it's down here, I think. I think it's down here, down there. Uh, there's a little uh, robot-y thing. If you click that, you will uh, subscribe to the, the this channel. Um, there's information in the description that might be important to you. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, um, take care.